I don't Sparky here from SparkyUOnline.com. This is uh, one of the panels that's fed from the disconnects that uh, was in my previous video there, and um, I'm gonna have to name these up to keep all these straight. But anyway, this is the first disconnect that I had showed you. It feeds this panel C here, and as you can see here. Um, this B phase is actually overheated quite a bit compared to the A phase there. Okay, now those are coming off of 100 amp fuses already. And if you take a look at it, okay, I'll bring this up a little bit. You know, I got two 50 amp two pole breakers in there just right off the bat. Um, I, I can't shut this place down because it's open. I don't have all the details on this yet, but. Uh, it's just all part of the process and I'll be able to uh, make more of these videos as I progress a little bit more and um, get a little bit more organized but nonetheless uh, so there's the uh, panel that's feeding off those 100 amp fuses that I was showing you earlier and then in the next pictures here uh, I'll show you uh, my thermometer testings on those and show you what the temperatures are okay um, what we have is on the A phase we have 120.9 degrees roughly okay now take a look at that um, I'm eh, probably about a foot or so away from the panel in that picture okay and then the B phase as you can see is 189.3 degrees um, I would say that's overloaded quite a bit and if I go back to that original picture, okay, um, you can you can see that how badly overheated that is. It's even starting to melt the wires there. So um, as I find out more information on this one, I'll post some more videos. But uh, this is just one of three panels, and um, I showed you the part of one of the other panels that in the last video. So I'll keep going here and. Uh, just write in, ask me some questions, whatever. I don't know all about this place right now because there's just so much, so much involved in it. And I will be changing all these panels out and replacing some feeders and such, as well as the, the whole SES. So stay tuned, come back. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.